square day day one I hate calling this day one because it's not really a full day so I'm gonna come in here an inch come in here an inch as well snap this line Come in an inch here. Uh, now we start the process. So we're going to go. Yeah, 9, 12 works here. Uh, 3 times 4 is 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 will work there. Okay, so 12. <clears throat> so, make sure this is on the one inch, is on the chalk line. Here, I'm going to come in 12 foot 1. Okay. Here, I'm going to go 16 foot 1. And the reason it's 16 foot 1, the only reason is so that basically, instead of making my tape, instead of making my tape here, putting it on the line that's one inch in, and having to do all this. See, it's technically 16. It's technically 16 off of the red lines, my chalk lines. Now, all I need to do, so we've gone, boy, this is, this is going just awesome. We've gone three times four, which is, which is 12. We've gone 4 times 4, which is 16. Now I'm going to take 4 and multiply it by 5. And that will be 20. So I put this right on where these two, where the X is with my lead and my chalk line. Hook my tape on. I come over to this line that I made here which has almost disappeared because I hammered this. And I go 20. So wherever 20 meets this line, so you see that? That now is one inch in and it's square to that corner. So this is an inch in, but it's square. So now I put my tape on one inch and I'm gonna put my lines five and a half inches in. We'll come in five and a half here from the outside
mess here. Now I'm going to come in five and a half here. Five and a half is because of the thickness of my stub walls. My exterior walls are two by six. Now I'll come in here. Five and a half. Punch my nail in. Maybe we'll darken this one up so we can see it. There we go. And now, this is a square corner. It's the three, four, five method. All that means is you take a number, so say, let's take four in this case. It is three times four is 12 feet that way. Four times four is 16 feet that way. And diagonal across will be 20. Four times five is 20. Three, four, five. Okay, this is the floor truss layout. I'm gonna get this distance, this dimension, is 27 foot 2. Now, as you can see, this is tricky because you got to get 27 foot 2 from here to that wall down there. I'll show you a neat little trick. You need this guy, you need a laser. Throw this right about here. Yeah, that looks good. The only thing we need out of this uh, two by eight down here is I gotta make sure it's uh, somewhat flat so that my laser does not flash. Okay, that's gonna work. Okay, so we go back up to the top. Remember, this is 27 foot two. Should write that down somewhere because there will be math. All I need to do is I need to measure to my red line. So I need to, I need this to be on five and a half. So this is 27 foot two, or on, sorry, this is on the edge of the house. There's my red mark, there it is. Okay, five and a half. I am at, I think I'm at 17 and an eighth see the red dot on 17 and an eighth so one foot five and an eighth okay so I have one foot five and an eighth to my red dot so I take 27 foot two, which is the total dimension. And what I do to make my math easier is I went 26 foot 14. So that is taking one foot off the 27 and I'm adding 12 inches to two. So it gives us 14. So we have 26 foot 14. That's the same number or same distance as 27 foot two. I hope that makes sense. Now I'm gonna take the one foot five and an eighth and I'm gonna subtract that from 26 foot 14. 
I come up with 25 foot 8 and 7 eighths. So, now 25 foot 8 and 7 eighths. I'm going to simply hook onto this wall. I want 25 foot 8 and 7 eighths and I have 25 foot 8 and a quarter so that means I am 5 eighths. I got to go 5 eighths back. If I go 5 8 back, hold me on 5 8 here, and I come into 5 and a half, that is my inside of my 2 by 6 wall. Okay, so here's a funkier one. Uh, set up the laser. I measured over from the outside of the building, and I am at uh, 1 foot 4 and 5 8 so in other words, 16 and 5 8 so I take my tape, make the red dot right on 16 and 5 eighths. You probably can't see that, but the red dot is literally hitting 16 and 5 eighths hash mark. Okay, now I'm coming over with my tape strung out. I've come over to 20 feet. I've marked that. Okay, this uh, house or this measurement, this dimension line is over 35. So this tape too short. So now I measure the remainder so I take 20 feet off my measurement. I gotta go find out what my measurement was. After. Okay the measurement is 41 feet 2 inches. If I take 20 feet off that I am at 21 foot 2 inches. So here's my lead mark from when I measured from over there. I put that on 2 which it is. It's actually perfectly hooked on, it's nice and square, and I uh, mark five and a half for my exterior wall on the inside. That worked really good. Okay, now I need to get that corner marked. I've got this marked, I need to get that marked, and I ran out of upper wall to measure off. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the laser. I'm going to set it on my existing line that I just snapped. Get the red dot on the red, on my chalk line. I shouldn't say red because chalk lines are different colors. Okay, what I want to do. Okay, so my red dot from the bottom of the laser is on my chalk line. I've come over here, I'm following my chalk line along. <coughs> I have plumbed up uh, a pencil line from the red line up and the red dot right now is just on the side. I don't think you can see that. Create some shade here. So if you look, you might be able to see that right there. I need to just get it to come over a smidge. This is uh, this can get very frustrating. Okay, so now I have moved the laser. So it is perfectly on that lead line, which now means the laser light is perfectly parallel with this red line. Now, I'm gonna hook a nail here. should actually read if it's perfectly plumb four foot six and a half. Oh my gosh it's very close four foot six and three eighths you see that right there so technically I just gotta move in an eighth of an inch and it's perfectly in line So 
five and a half, bring it in an eighth, five and five. That is the inside of my two by six wall. Okay, that's the back back walls snapped now we want to get this exterior wall snapped so I'm done with this grab my four foot level get myself in line here with that foundation okay like a sixteenth out This is going to be 15 foot 10. Got to go a 16th out, so I'll account for that now. I got to double check this dimension line. Get the level to be plumb. Acting like the tape is hanging over by 16th, so I am at 59 and 15 sixteenths, and I am perfectly plumb. So that is the outside measurement. Drop that. Again, that's the outside. Okay, we have this line here. Perfectly on five and a half. So 15 foot 10 to the outside. Let's see where that lands. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's about two feet up. 15 foot 10. Sure your level is now plumb. I gotta go double check the dimension measurement here. Just about perfect. Perfect. Nope, not good enough. Double check that measurement. So 1510 is the number. So now all I do is come in five and a half. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, got my uh, tape hooked on a nail hooked on the outside of the building. So 15 plus 18 is 33, 33 foot 10, 34 foot 8. That is a stretch of the tape. Pull tight. Okay, perfect on the mark. And a little further out. further tape's pretty pretty it's got a little sag about all that crap I'm taking that yep Five and a half. 
one, two, three, four, five and a half. That's that one. So this dimension line is 13 foot 10. hard to pull from over there that is over 35 feet so my tape ain't gonna work okay we're gonna set the laser up again okay I need this uh, lead on the red on my chalk line and there it is yep okay I want to get the late the line the laser dot on the chalk line I've set up my block over and plumbed up for lead with the lead line, a pencil line. There it is. Oops. Trying to block the sun here. Can you see the dot right there? So that's five and a half inches in. Okay. dots and we got this exterior wall done. Plus I got this up here. Okay so now what I've done to get my marks to continue, this is uh, unorthodox, is I've put my concrete nail into my red line and I kind of guessed at the angle where this line would just skim past my mark and I can see now that this line has to go that way. I'll bend the nail over a tad. Okay, I am perfectly on. Nope, not quite. <clears throat> Too far. Okay, I'm right on top of my lead mark. plumb down from this level right up against the string plumbing right up against the string and plumbing too far right up against the string right up against the string plumbing no one more ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we're going to now get this exterior wall to continue to this corner. So what I've done is I've set this six foot level here, right on my lead, it's right on my chalk line, and now we'll plumb down. Got a little 
concrete here, so I have to bring the line up a little. Hooked on up there. Now we're going to start stepping back up. I got my corner of my house here. 27 foot 2 is the number. Okay, I'm hooked on up there. It's not plumb. Now, no. Plumb. Quarter of an inch. Mark was right there. So, quarter of an inch out. So, five and a half becomes five and three quarters. Same thing over here. Okay, I got this line in. I'll put the framing square on here. I measured over there to my distance of plus five and a half. That put me right to here. And I've already marked this. Okay, so this is five and a half inches. This is the inside of my exterior wall. Got a bit of concrete poo here. So we're gonna just put the eye. We're gonna go down I've measured across from there to get this line now I've plumbed down and I got concrete schmag in my way again so all I will do oh I just snapped my chalk line try that again there come full circle with a bunch of jogs. Hooey! So we're squared up. What a beautiful day. Man. So we're all squared up. I will get the footings. When I have all my exteriors built, I just hook onto my exteriors and drop all the lines down. Or I come in from the back and hook on my bottom plate and pull in. Well, that's square day. This is the Timpsey house. That was a good day. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.